Hello and welcome to Functional Skills Maths Level 1. In this session, we'll be looking at using numbers and the number system, specifically following the order of precedence of operators. Mathematical calculations should be performed in a certain order. The order we follow is known as bid mass, or sometimes it's known as bod mass. The letters of bid mass tell us which order to perform the calculation. The B stands for brackets, and these need to be done first. I stands for indices or orders. D stands for division. M for multiplication. A stands for addition. And S for subtraction. Now it's worth learning the acronym as it can be a very helpful tool to jog your memory when carrying out calculations. Here's an example. 5 times 3 squared plus 4 minus 6. Now using bid mass, we need to start with the letter B for bracket. And we need to look within the brackets first. Now within the brackets, we can see two different operations, index or power and addition. The letter I comes before A in bid mass, so we must calculate the 3 squared first. So 3 squared is 3 times 3, written in another way, which is 9, and then we would add 4. Now if we look at the calculation after we've dealt with the 3 squared, it's 5 times 9 plus 4 minus 6. So 9 plus 4 is 13, so this becomes 5 times 13 minus 6. So this leaves a multiplication and a subtraction. M appears in bid mass before S, so we need to deal with the multiplication next. 5 times 13 is 65. And finally, we need to subtract the 6. So 65 minus 6 is your answer. And the answer to the question is 59. Now, if you didn't have a calculator, let's look at how to multiply 13 by 5. So, we lay out the question like such. And then the first thing we need to do is times the 5 by the 3, which is 5 times 3 is 15. We move the 1 across into the tens. And then we multiply 5 by 1, which is 5, and add the remaining 1 to give us 65. Here's some simpler calculations to clarify your understanding of the bid mass process. 4 plus 8 divided by 2. Now following bid mass, the division is calculated first. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. So once the division dealt with, the actual calculation is 4 plus 4. Then we'll calculate the addition which is eight. Now it's worth noting that if you didn't follow bid mass, you would do four plus eight divided by two, which is 12 divided by two equals six, and that will be the wrong answer. This calculation, three plus four times eight minus two. Following bid mass, we have to calculate what's inside the brackets first. So 3 plus 4 is 7, and 8 minus 2 is 6. So once the brackets are dealt with, the calculation is 7 times 6. Secondly, work out the multiplication. 7 times 6 is 42. Here's another calculation. What is 5 squared minus 36 divided by 12? So firstly, we need to calculate 5 squared. So 5 times 5 is 25. The division is next, which is 36 divided by 12, which is 3. 
So the calculation becomes 25 minus 3, which is 22. Here's another one. 81 divided by 13 minus 4. 13 minus 4 equals 9. And 81 divided by 9 is 9. Here's another calculation. 3 times 9 minus 6. So let's look at the brackets first. And 9 minus 6 equals 3. Then we need to times that by the 3. So the answer is 9. Now let's look at an example question you might find in an exam. Calculate the value of W. W equals 10 plus 8 times 37. Write the answer in the box below. So what I would like you to do is pause the video, have a go at answering the question, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. Did you get it right? Now following bid mass, firstly calculate the multiplication, then the addition. So 8 times 37 is 296. Then we simply add the 10 to get 306. Now you may have to do this without a calculator. So let's look at the calculation 8 times 37 in more detail. So if we line this up, first by the 7 by the 8. And that will give you 56. 8 sevens are 56. Then we move on to the tens. So in this case, it's a 3. And because we're dealing with tens now, we need to firstly add a 0 underneath the 6. And then we need to multiply 3 by 8. And 3 eighths are 24. The final stage is to add the 2 together, which is 296. Another example question in an exam. Calculate the value of 8 plus 8 times 8 minus 8. So once again, pause the video, have a go at answering the question, and press play when you're ready to see the answer. Did you get it right? The answer is 64. But let's follow bid mass and calculate the multiplication first. So 8 times 8 is 64. Secondly, calculate the addition. So 8 plus 64 is 72. And then finally, calculate the subtraction. 72 minus 8 is 64. Let's recap. Performing mathematical calculations should be done in a certain order. The order we know is no the order we follow is known as bid mass or sometimes bod mass. The letters of bid mass tell us which order to perform the calculation. So B stands for brackets, I stands for in indices, I stands for indices or orders in the term. Performing mathematical calculations should be done in a certain order. The order we follow is known as bid mass or sometimes bod mass. The letters of bid mass tell us which order to perform the calculation. B for brackets, I for indices, or O for orders if we're dealing with bod mass, D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Thanks for participating, and I'll see you on the next session.